This video is brought to you by Astapro. More on them after the reaction, peeps. Citizens of the Reject Nation! Ah! Guess who's back? It's us! Horror ah! slash Scream Queens! Let's go, Tara! Yeah, baby! It's Tara and Roxy, the dynamic duo that you guys actually like. like. What's up with that? <laughs> what? Let's start a cult. That's why I wore this shirt. I think me and Roxy should start one. Did you see the new fan art that came out today? Today? There was one? Oh my god! God, oh I my did not. God, oh my God. Okay. We love this fan art, you guys. Like, seriously, I'm fangirling over the fan, the fan art. obsessing. <gasps> what? Okay, let's see if I can you show them. Ah! You guys, shut up. That's the coolest thing. You have to cut into let's see, that. Let's see. Right. But then it's us. Um, and we're Chucky. If you had to make a Chucky face right now, what would it look like? That's what I was hoping it would be. Does it look like I'm constipated or like Do I Chucky? look like Chucky? We both look like maybe we have something to push out <laughs> a little bit. We did that. We did a good Listen, job. Listen, I always have something to push out. <laughs> Just constipated, constipated queen. queen. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much uh, to Prepper for helping edit us down. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Do all that good stuff. And if you want to be a super sexy reject, make sure you become a patron over there. Greg and John exclusively cover all different kinds of fun stuff. If you are not there, you are missing out. If you're not there, you're not that, that sexy. sexy. Yeah, I said it. And you can't sync up with your own copy if, unless you're on you're on Patreon. That's you could do that. the good That's point. That's the juice, That's the right? whole thing that I'm supposed to say. And sync I didn't even up with say your own thing copy. I'm supposed to say. That's fine. I'm supposed I to tell them about their the own time. copy. All the time. And that I'm trying to tell them how to be sexy. And I, I miss the most important step of being sexy is syncing up with your own copy on Patreon. We now know how Roxy feels about the sexy talk. She takes it seriously, but does she take the instructions seriously? We be, have learned our be lesson. Be Chucky having dirty talk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and. Yeah. Uh, before I get both of us canceled, let's watch Child's Play 3. Here we go. <laughs> Good start. Already huh? love <laughs> it. <laughs> It does cobwebs look pink? And I'm kind of here for it. You know we love we love that that set. Is this oh, is this the um yeah the the, the thing from before? I think okay. So. Oh, yeah, they found the melted dude, yeah. melted Chucky. Beware of anyone who wears a shirt that says "Good Guys." Good guys. <laughs> like that would dodge protest too much. Oh, we knew he was gonna be in there. Oh God! Oh. Oh. What? Because he's a person. He's still, the, yeah, he's still. He's bleeding still real blood. Still juicing. Okay. It's like if Pinocchio gone wrong. <laughs> I'm a real boy now, <laughs> Chucky. Okay. Oh. Well, uh, is, is Glue? Stuff, 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 stuff. Seal it? Oh, we're going to uh, go to an eye. This feels like an cool. eyeball. Oh. This is like, what are those videos called when you like to look or hear it? ASMR. This is kind of relaxing. That's the Gold's Gym logo. That's the font for Gold's Gym. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> this is an interesting intro, though. So this is like all of the... It's the blood, blood and, paint. and paint. Sit back, relax, and enjoy, and enjoy your tea. Your I, visual I sure ASMR. hope we're audio focused. I mean, more video focused after I tried to show them... <laughs> Fingers, are we making a hand? Oh, yeah. We're building it up. It's like in the last movie when they built Chuck and I loved watching that. And yeah. now they're building it a different way. It's like a it's avant garde. Like yeah. Is it too artistic for us? I sock it. Either that or the butthole. Uh, <laughs> just a good butthole ready. Wow, creepy. Very for the creepy. desoling. Unbelievably creepy. Oh, the smile's starting for him. This is like Mona Lisa's nightmare. Oh. What are we actually supposed... So Jack Bender, that's not who did the last one, right? What are we actually supposed to... Oh. <laughs> I didn't want it. Like, what was actually happening there in real life? Was he being rebuilt by people? Right, or was it just for a title? This is Andy Barkley. Eight years ago, he touched off the scandal that nearly crippled his company. His good guy doll, Chucky, was possessed uh -huh. by Charles Lee Ray, the notorious Lakeshore Strangler. 
Well, that was a short presentation. Yeah. Where is the wisdom in putting the good guy back on the market? Before any of this happened, Definitely the good guy her. outsold all our other toys two to one. Her voice is amazing. Yeah. The factory is up and running again. Up and Should running again. Stores by next week. <laughs> the factory is up and running again. Hardest things about this business is that it is a business. It doesn't matter Swarmy. what we're selling. Yeah. Whether it's cars, nuclear weapons, or yes, even toys. Nuclear weapons. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wow, you just went deep. And what are children after all? But consumer trainees. <laughs> I would say that's not funny. Okay, buddy. Andy Barkley is ancient history. No one remembers him. So he's going to be in this one. I mean. I have made up my mind. He ha We're yeah. moving ahead. No, he has to be. What about his mom? Right, exactly. First one off the assembly line. The good guy of the 90s. Yay! Not scary at all. So is that him? The first one off the assembly line is Chucky. Right. I'm like, is he going to jump into that guy? This boss guy? He can't do that. Because he's mean. Well, if there's nothing else, I'm going to get going. It's our anniversary. Fine, pets hold. Oh, because he's the first? Yes. Or, oh, no, it's got to be the first he tells his secret to, right? Yes. That's what it is? It gives Curious George so much. Yeah, except Curious George doesn't carry around, thank God, an axe and a hammer. Puff, puff, pass, don't F the rotation. Feels like an exp... Uh, Feels like we're at the real reject's house with all the pop. Totally, <laughs> like, the toys. Yeah. Well, despite a downdraft... Okay. Do I have to hit power? Friday, thanks to right. a couple of different factors. Not only uh, stronger than expected okay. employment report, a late he's already up and at him. Yeah, it looks like a mini golf. Is it mini golf? Oh, yeah, it must be. Pot, pot. He looks like a yeah. golfer. Yeah. Two and a half, the premium ending at 1.59. New York Stock Exchange Index. Double hitting it? No, one, two. Oh, got it. See? <laughs> that tells you right there how much I've played golf. Like, <laughs> try to hit all these balls. Old man. Was that your Chuck? Yeah, but it was bad. Try to hit all these balls, old man. How do you like my balls? <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's better. Yeah. Just look. Oh, nice of you, Chuck. Oh. What if you put a oh. mouse trap there? Ugh. People tell me I look at you so much during their reactions that I miss the movie. <laughs> In love. <laughs> I just want to know how you're That's feeling. It's so funny. I don't even, I can't even tell. Oh my oh. God. See? Tri tripping old daddy up. Oh boy. <gasps> Ooh, death by your own toys and your toys are killing children. How big was that? Oh, this is sick. Wow. Another cool set. This is dope. This is good. like Toy Story vibes. What do you think he thinks is going on at this point? Malfunction. Hi. Or maybe he's just Larry. like, damn, Hi. I'm Hi. getting Hi. old. Hey, wanna play? Hey, wanna play? She said Mary. He said Paul. My name is Larry. Oh, Larry. Oh, Larry. Hey, wanna play? I like to be hugged. I like to be hugged. Which one of you do you think's Chucky? Or neither? Wanna play? The one I on like the. Oh, I don't know. The one on the right. This is like that game where they're like, guess which ball the hand is in. I'm like, oh. <laughs> ah! That yell of her little duty packs it. Oh my god. With the chuck. Don't fuck with the chuck. Whoa. What a line. Oh. I'm gonna say that to you all the time. Don't fuck with the chuck. <laughs> Not a dart. Oh would it hurt that much to get hit by a dart in the back? I get I think so. If you, if it hits like a nerve, you'd be like, dang. Oh my god. His yell is so much. Ah. Sweat. Wow. Okay. Nothing like a strangulation to get the circulation going. Yeah, he is the strangle. Strangler. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get out of this goddamn body. How old do you think Andy's at this point? He's gotta be like, what, like 50 now? Kent Military School, oh. 16 years old, okay. Wow. Did you say 60? 
Oh no, I said I I thought you meant for him, Charles. No. <laughs> Yeah, the kid's definitely 60. No. <laughs> he's got to be 60 I thought, by I now. thought you were asking me how much. Don't how, ask me any follow-up questions. He's got to be 60 by how now. How old the strangler was. He's on his deathbed. Is that the same actor? That can't be. Remember when I checked my phone in the last one? Yeah. People in the comments were not happy about they it. They did not like it. One foster home after another. Mind if I ask why? They took me away from my mother. She's uh, under special care. Where is his mom? I meant how come you never got settled anywhere? She's still in the psych ward for that long? That's a long time. Because they don't believe her. Yeah. And she still probably won't back down. Grow up. You're not a kid anymore. It's time to forget these fantasies of killer dolls. Uh, he's 16. Quite literally a kid. Still a child. Oh, right. They shave her. Yes. Yes. Ew. Ooh. I don't like how much he's enjoying this. We're seeing some skin now, no, are I we? This is weird. A kid's 16 too? He looked like He five. looks like 10. <laughs> what way is that, guys? That Let's kid see. is like eight years old. Oh, maybe, well, Kent military school, I guess maybe he could be oh, young. Oh, right. Next. Oh, this guy's so weird. Oh, his hair is so flowy and luxurious. It's beautiful, kid. The Romans invented the military cut so the enemies couldn't grab a hold of it in battle and slit their throat. Learn something new every day. <sighs> Good guy, good guy, good guy. Is that oh, him? PTSD. He sees that it's back. Because they said they had discontinued it for a while or whatever. So Right. And then they were like the old man that just got strangled by a yo-yo. I feel like he's going to get messed with. This kid? Yeah. Yeah, obviously. It's going to be bad. I don't want to know. Oh, uh, yeah. Mandy. Barkley, Whitehurst. Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Fred C. Shelton. He's God around here. Yeah, oh, I recognize him. Yeah, new boy, huh? Yeah. How you doing? This is Shelton. It's got to be, right? Yeah. Do you know who I am? Shelton. <laughs> yeah, good guess. That's Lieutenant Colonel Shelton to you. Lieutenant Colonel Shelton. Lieutenant Colonel Shelton. Sir. Sir. Lieutenant Colonel Shelton, sir. What's your name, dipweed? Barkley. His stomach gets growling so loud, you guys. Sorry. Sir! Louder! Sir! Louder! Sir! That's much better, new boy. We can use that on here, like dipweed. Yeah. Two words. Stop not bad ones. Just add it together. You are without a doubt the most pathetic thing I have ever seen. Wouldn't you agree? I asked you a question, Nimrod. Nimrod? Nimrod's a good one. No, sir! I don't agree, sir! Are you contradicting me, you sorry ass sack of shit? You asshole. Yeah, I girl. Her. Get it. I recognize her for sure. Yeah. What did you say? I said you asshole, sir. Love it. I want her on my team. Why don't you drop and give me 25? 25 what, sir? 25 <laughs> push-ups to Silva. Suck it, Shelton. One, sir. Two, sir. Nice. 23, sir. One-handed. 24, sir. 25, sir. Get it. Recover. Hi. Love her. A boss. She's our new fave. You should definitely love her, Andy. Ooh. Oh, she like kind of get the same age. Eyes. Yeah, I feel like there could be some juice in there. But is it worth the squeeze? <laughs> yeah. Like, what does that even mean, what I just said? Nothing from your dad today. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, nothing from his dad. He's busy flying jets, defending the country. He'll write to you when he gets a chance. Um, oh, poor little was... kid. I got a job for you. Oh, no. Delivering oh, packages. God, it's, it's that's a Chucky. Obviously. Barkley. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. He is so cute, and I'm so sorry your parents don't write to you more often because you're literally like eight years old. Good guy. He's going to take him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that one got me. Are you? I thought you guys only said three sentences. I'm new and improved. <laughs> Where the hell's Andy? Andy? He was supposed to get this package. Tampering with the mail is a federal offense. That's true. Uh, is he your best friend? He's my new lease on life. This kid thinks he's a doll. Yeah. I got a new body, and I ain't told anyone about my little secret. Oh, okay, so it is the first person he tells about a secret. Okay. What's your name, kid? Tyler. Oh, no. Not him. Oh, he's so sweet. My real name is Charles Lee Ray. Oh, 
killed him. He killed him to get in his body. Dang it. But then do we not get to see Chucky? Right. Like then where does, yeah, I don't know. Keep both eyes open. Squeeze the trigger. Don't pull it. Almost. You're not concentrating. I love that it's always like female led and she's doing what a guy would normally do. Need to know if they're the same age. Yeah, I think they're the same age. We just think of her as older because we're thinking of her. Yeah. What do you call this game anyway? Oh no, he's killing it. Somebody walk in. Give me the I hope power so. I beg of you. Whoa. That's so sad because this kid's dad is gone. I know. I think he's going to find that it doesn't work because it's always going to be Andy now. Oh no. Yes. Stop swearing. <laughs> we don't play with dolls, do we now, Tyler? Dolls are for girls. But Charles is my new best friend. Tyler, you know better than to talk back to a superior officer. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. He's yeah. such a dick. Yeah. That kid's the cutest kid you got around. I'll be back. Oh, my God. So he can do that voice because the batteries? Yeah. New boy! Fall out! He's like, what the F does that mean? Fall out! Oh. Tell him, tell him what fallout uh, yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. What does it mean? Right shoulder! Move! Remember when he was like, you think that the girls think this? Is she, but isn't right she the only... Oh, no, there's Move. another girl there. Yeah, there's another... Yeah. Left shoulder! Move. Just the two of them? I think there's just two girls. Oh, no, he's uh, PTSD, here we go. Would Chucky even recognize him Oh, my God, is he going to shoot? Like oh, I thought he was going to try to shoot Chucky. <laughs> He dropped his gun. Like, are you kidding? You're going to have to do a million push-ups for that. You're like... Barkley! Yeah. I mean, you're tripping up, buddy. It's not a baton, Barkley! I'm not used to guns, sir. Does this look like a gun to you, Barkley? It's a rifle! Oh. Major Ellis, <laughs> sir! Can you kind please of show the yes. new boy the difference? Is that the same thing, sir? This is my rifle. This is my gun. This oh. is for shooting. And this is for fun. Okay. Got it. A soldier's rifle is his best friend. Remember that. Is, is it your rifle? gun also? This is your my gun. This is for shooting. This, this is for, for fun. fun. <laughs> Grabs junk. <laughs> uh, we all know he can escape out of there, man. You know what's kind of up, though? Like, he was sent as a present. Shit! And they don't know that he, like, and they just tossed him. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, he can hear it. Oh, you think it's a, it's a kid. It doesn't sound like a kid. It does, certainly does not. Where are you? Oh no. Oh great. See you later. Now he's gonna have a whole garbage truck to himself. Yeah, stop making noise. But now the first person he told is that kid. He's gonna have to get that kid eventually now. But I don't think he finished the you? spell, right? No, but he, he told it's still the first person he told. Right. That guy's going to get smushed. Oh, my God. You better run, buddy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what happens? Uh, no. no, no, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Roxy, Roxy, Roxy! <laughs> oh, my God. You guys? That's terrible. Dude. Dude, his body got rolled up in there, girl. And they showed like a Coke can and then his arm. Sorry, and my, then it I, was, went, I was really just grabbing went, you. It went. <laughs> yeah. In all the horror movies, that was like my least favorite death ever. Yeah, that was terrible. Terrifying. I felt so I realistic. let out a laugh like towards when his arm clipped because I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. That was very intense. Did you see Cockman with that doll today? No, what doll? He was carrying a good guy doll. Good guys, I remember those. I feel sick. From that guy, right? Yeah. Or from the shoes. Yeah. Not the shoes. <laughs> Just had to check. Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, my God. Whoa. How did he get in there? Oh, oh there. already moving and grooving. I also like these Kent wardrobes. It's just like very boarding school, military yeah. school, whatever. It's like Harry Potter colors. <laughs> yes, not military colors. Harry Potter colors. The book, the book, the book. <laughs> It's not army green in his band. It's Harry Potter <laughs> the book, Slytherin. The book, Roxy, look at the book. It's yellow and blue. Oh, um, his mom. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. 
slice that little t- the little tendon cord stop, behind stop, the ankle. Stop, 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 stop. I just hit your because <laughs> I was so mad at you. <laughs> oh, yep. That's... Yeah, I called it. Oh. Ow. Long time no see, pal. No, you're dead. We killed you. How are you moving your foot? You're not going to kill me. You need me. You need to transfer your soul into my body. I got some fresh meat lined up. Tyler. Chucky's going to be a bro. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to let you get away with this. I'm Chucky's not going to be kid. a bro. Like, wouldn't you think that his next time he would p- want to pick an adult? Right. Like, oh, wow. Good, good on you. Get kill that doll. <laughs> Right, and he's gonna be like, "You're you're a nutcase, just like your mom." You miss your mommy? What the f- is this? Sorry about your shoe, all right? I polish it. Give me back the doll. The kid's sister's birthday's coming up. I think she's gonna love it, don't you? All righty. I will say, I did like the blue lighting on the knife, and it's blue out here. Like it was kind of cool when Chucky was holding the knife; it had like a blue tang to it. I was like, "That was cool." What do you mean? I will say, like it's the only thing. Like the whole thing's dope. I agree, but like I will that stood that, out for you, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. What are you doing? Wait, with he's that taking knife? a knife. Is he gonna kill him? No, no, he's trying to kill Chucky because he has Oh Chucky. right, Chucky's in that room. I had already forgotten. You and I have you guys bad guesses so, today. <laughs> like I'm not yeah. Perch! Ah! Oh my god. How does that always get me? <laughs> I'm so happy with myself. That was good. That got me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, this dude's going to wake up and see him in his room and kill him. No. Oh, Oh my God. (laughs) What the fuck? No, stop. I'm doing in my room, Barkley. You wouldn't believe me. Where's the doll? It ran out. What's going on? Somebody sure as hell took it. All right, where does this circle jerk? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> jerks in the circle. A couple, just a couple of jerks in a circle. Get those weapons in here. I want to see them high. Higher. I'd be so annoyed at midnight doing this. Oh, hey. Ouch. Oh, no. Is that our little guy? Yeah, that's our P. That's our little Chucky POV. What's his, no, no, the guy. Oh, the Tyler, dear Charles, you're it. Come and find me, your best friend. And Tyler, Tyler. you were right. She remembered. Shit. That's so. F- <laughs> he thinks it's a game still. Yeah. Oh, he's so innocent and so so young. Come and find oh. me. Oh my god. Oh my god. He makes me so sad. It's so cute. Come on, Berkeley. Oh, it's a lot worse than this. What's he doing? Trying to find Chucky. I'm like, what? You guys didn't notice he just like swooped out all line? Oh, oh, wow. A hell of a punch there, Barkley. Get your head around. Oh. Okay, I thought he might be a good guy at some point. Maybe I'm not. Maybe wrong. not, though. This poor kid just wants to have a little fun. I hate to tell you, kid, it ain't gonna end well. Yeah, but Chucky can't kill him. Right, because he needs his body. He needs his the whole thing. Ollie Ollie Oxen Free. Ha! Uh. <laughs> 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 They're gonna they find him. You know, I don't see what you see in that guy anyway. I don't know. He's he's just different from everybody else. Oh, please. They're looking at Andy's file. I think so. Oh, they see about the doll. Foster homes. Yeah. Yes. So quiet. Who's that? Oh, God. (laughs) We're playing hide and seek. (gasps) Oh, he is so cute. He's really not cute, y'all. I don't know what you see in him. Wait, stop. Here you go, little baby. Come on. You're messing him oh, up. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. Don't, Creepy. Don't. He looks stupid. Oh, you're making him look like a wuss. You're making him look like the Joker, y'all. This means oh, war. Oh, God. This means war. <laughs> Lipstick means war. Yeah, man. Go get him.
Is he about to end up dead? I mean, he, he must, right? I mean, Chucky's PO'd at this point. The lipstick is so disturbing. Purge! God dang it. I think I give it away with my body. That was a good one, though. God, fortress. Maybe jump inside. Fortress! Maybe jump inside, Fortress. <laughs> They're always throwing him away, head down. He's so tired of getting tossed. Oh, you got it in for you now, buddy. I bet you he's going to use the pencil to stab him in the neck. Mm. <laughs> That's one hell of a pencil. I love how the blue light is always reflecting oh, a heart off attack. of the knife. He's having a heart attack. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh. Not on the replica. Ah. The way they do sweat in this movie. It's a lot. That probably took um, set deck Olive way oil. too many days to make that little replica. Olive oil for the sweat. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> oh, hair cutter guy's coming through. It's getting again. pretty shaggy, Carlson. I want to see you on Friday. Yes, sir. My man. <laughs> He's so weird. He's going to be the next to go, right? He's got to. It's his entire job there. Yes. It's so arbitrary. What yeah. Are you doing? Oh, my God. What's going to happen? I feel like she's in, like, Guys. Brothers and Sisters or some show that I watch. Why are you laughing at him? Because they tripped him. Hi, Marky. What's up? Oh. I've got to talk to you about Chucky. You mean Charles. Don't let him fool you. He's bad. He's a good guy. It says so on his shirt. He lies, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Believe me, he's bad news. He's hurt a lot of people. Bad news bears, kid. You're just jealous because he's my best friend now instead of yours. Tyler's not going to end up dead, right? Ah, uh, no say. You better keep this. He gives him a knife. You're not cut out for this life. Why don't you do yourself a favor and get the hell out of Kent? If I had any choice in the matter, I would, sir. Smart ass. Uh. Presto, you're bald. This guy's got to go next. I do not like him. How'd you get in there? Where'd the lipstick on his face go? Yeah, he washed it. He, the haircut he go ain't regulation, soldier. Oh, my God. Oh, God. When's the last time you had a trim? Uh, huh? oh. Kiss it goodbye. Or kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> He's so weird. So weird. I want him to trim it, though. I want to see what Chucky looks like in the military right? cut. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, he's just going to slice him? <laughs> oh, <you> dead. <laughs> but the last person that he saw was our guy. Right. Oh, no. I... I, that's a good that's a good effect right there. Good job. Practical effects. I like the way that looked. Still really bright red, but that's all right. He looks so real right there. Colonel Cochran was a man who believed in the value of tradition. He'd have ordered us to go on. Therefore, the war game will proceed as scheduled. Would you rather be blue Whoa. team or red team? Lieutenant Colonel Sheldon will command mm. the blue team. Red team, because that guy's a... The objective is simple. To capture the other team's flag, bring it back here safely to base. Is he going to tell somebody? You will pick up your weapons in the armory before moving out. Oh, my God. He has bullets now. Your ammo. Paintball. If you get hit, you are dead. Oh. May the best team win. Good luck, uh, men and women. Awkward. Is he going to tell Andy or who's he going to tell? Maybe he's not going to tell anybody. His teeth. Clean them, man. Like a toothbrush. A little bit of toothpaste. Charcoal. That too. Listerine. Also not a bad choice. This ought to slow the pricks down. Wow, oh, he's loading some of their guns with bullets. <laughs> oh, Why are you laughing? Evil. Oh he just God, Chucky is so each other. evil. I just they're gonna shoot each other. I don't like it. After seeing that guy get crushed, I had to let a laugh out because it was so much. That's like literally anyone's worst nightmare. Like when that thing is rolling towards him, and then you, I'm like the that, arm. His it arm. makes you want to throw up. <laughs> I'm sick right now. Because you know they're going to kill each other. We saw who has good aim, too. The girl does. This is going to not be good. So for hours they do this. I'm like, you guys haven't even played yet or what? You just camp out? Capture the flag. 
Silva, where do you think the red team's camped out? Could be anywhere. Sean will find them. He always does. By the way, you can call me Kristen. Oh, girl, under that moonlight. Come on, Andy. I want to show you something. Oh, <laughs> she does look significantly older than she him. does. But I just go, yeah, I'm just going to pretend they're the same age. But I do agree with you. Pretty cool, huh? Almost forgot there were places like that. People just go to have fun. Ugh, creepy. Somebody's out there. It's probably just a chipmunk or something. Nothing scares you, does it? No. Oh, get it, girl. Man, I really got to get out of this body. <laughs> All right, a little love juice going on. Swipe this from Shelton's tent. He sent out a reconnaissance mission right before we pitched camp. The red team is somewhere around here. That kid's a sitting duck, Whitehurst. Now, are you with me? No. Sorry, I can't. She's going to go. Of course she'll go. But I don't know if she, she doesn't she know. Ask her? I, I mean, he'd have to spill some juice. I doubt it. I don't know. Barkley's going AWOL, sir. He stole the map. That little... Traders doubling for the Reds. I do think it's a little funny. He's like, you got to come over here and look at this. I'm like, shouldn't you just tell him, like, Barclay went AWOL? Like, let's get moving. Oh. Where's Tyler? These kids He's are so, so little young. Little I don't girl. like it. Oh, no, not My Charles. God. Uh, they're too young. Nothing is going to happen to him. It'll be all right. Charles will just be like, let's play. They won't die. We can play hide the soul. I'm tired. I don't want to play that dumb game anymore. You're a f drag you know that watch your mouth charles stop calling me that oh my god barkley was right you're not a good guy sorry kid you got me i'm bad now assume the position oh yes get him kid no! use it yes good job little dude get back here also, Chucky's doll looks really, like, realistic. I don't know how they get to his face to move like that. It looks good. And better every movie. Yeah, like, good job, practical effects, special effects, and all that juice. Tyler's in trouble. Come on, Whitehurst, back me up. Whitehurst, come on, come through. Major Ellis, call in the flank. Yes, sir. Silva Siegel, do you copy? Nope. Oh, please don't let it be Ah! Ugh, oh, dang it. Are you okay, Tyler? Oh, well, <laughs> looks like we got ourselves a little POW. Somebody, somebody's gonna shoot him. Barkley, you are right. Charles is bad. He tried to hurt me. Who the hell's Charles? Come in, Barkley. Come in. It's Charles. Who is this? Put Barkley on, Jarhead. <laughs> I want the kid. Andy, don't do it. De Silva. Come in, Red Team. This is Red Team. Over. We got a situation up here. She could just grab that out of his hands. Hope they like to taste the lead. Now just sit back and watch the sparks fly. She's probably so confused. Yeah, like what in the F? These like people are like seeing this doll move and speak and try to kill them. I'm telling you, this guy is dangerous. Relax, Barkley. It's only pain. Let's do it. Is he gonna get shot? He's just somebody's yeah. All right, kid. Get over here. No. Don't with me with chuck exactly beat it <sighs> she's gonna know what to do she's gonna like grab that grenade grab the kids she's yeah. gonna save the day she's the best soldier so i feel it you get it girl why would they actually trade get down and shut up at least now they all see the doll alive so it's proof right now no but they're gonna oh, be some Jesus. bullets yeah they're of course a lot half and half are I they guess. gonna hit the kid Better not. Dang it, did they? Hi, soldier. Me. Yeah. Oh, no. They have bullets, though. They have bullets. Dang it. Oh, my God. Oh, no. oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's, like, going to be a massacre. They really killed him. They killed him because he only changed the red teams. Yeah. He knew. Hold your freaking fire, bro. You did this, didn't you? You sick son of a bitch. You did oh this. God. Do you what not the see you the doll about? yelling and... What the... F Bro, check, check out the doll with the grenade, dude. Oh, God. Is he going to sacrifice I himself? I think so. He's going to be try to be a hero. No, no. He's going to. No. Yeah, of course he no, is. No, no. Oh, good. Dude. Pick it up. Throw it. No. Don't cover it. Pick it up no, and throw it. No. Don't do no. that. Gosh, dang it. Oh, my goodness. Why, 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 why? Okay, get Clark on the radio. Yes, sir. And give me a medic up here right now. Yes, 
No, Tyler. God. Oh my God, this movie this is, is so much realer. And yeah, so it's dealing with like kids, kids, and innocent. It's tough. Oh, the theme park. Yeah, but Chucky fits in at the theme park. Yeah, absolutely. The stakes just feel the absolute highest in this one. Yeah, and I think it's due to like his little, his age, his innocence. Mr. Mr. You gotta help me. Charles, he's after me. Have a seat over there. Sir. What's your name, sir? Ronald Tyler, private first class, sir. So cute. I can't stand it. He wants to hurt me. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Hannah will cheer you up. Look what I found. The doll god. Hey, maybe somebody's seen it. I feel so much anxiety right now. Like, I just realized neither you nor I are speaking. Yeah, because I'm, ju just... I'm just like, yeah, scared. Because I just, oh, God, is it the little kid? I just don't want to see it if it's the little kid. Oh, thank God, it's the adult. Thank God. Good job, girl. Yes, you guys know I hate it when grab they leave a weapon behind. Weapon. Woo! You did good in this one. Ooh, spooky. Is this supposed to be a ripoff of Haunted Mansion? I was thinking Absolutely about that. Absolutely a ripoff of the Haunted Mansion. But it's kind of wild because I got a little fair to put this up. Exactly. That's like, it's kind of a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> Is he gonna get run over? No. Oh god, ah, that shot. Those things don't go that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky. I have a feeling this kid is gonna, oh, oh my god, it's god. It's so cute, that is so smart. I have a feeling this kid no, is, is now I smart? feel now okay. he's stuck there when Chucky sees him. Well. When it opens, what is he gonna do? Tyler! Barkley, Barkley, here! Yeah, I have a feeling this kid's gonna know. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Those sound effects were a little strange. Oh, God. She's scared of nothing, though, so come on. You'll be fine. Tie it up, girl. Get back to work. Yeah. Take it. You can do it. He has bad aim. I'll be okay. I really wanted her to just, like, tie it up and be like, now let's go save this kid, but that's yeah, but, all right. But I feel like that's not realistic. Yeah. And for some reason, this movie is giving realistic. Yeah. Whoa, that looks very cool. That was awesome. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Tyler's stuck. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Ah! Oh, my gosh. His face. Why would that knife be real? Like, be able to cut him. That's right. Swinging. But I love how absolutely wrecked Chucky gets every movie. Yeah, absolutely. What is this? He can fly this thing? <laughs> he can fly this thing? What is no, it on it's, a it's just... Oh, it's on a yeah. pulley system. Okay. I was like, what's going on here? Oh, he's hanging on. Look at him flailing. Barkley! Tyler, watch out! Oh, he's knocked out? Must be. I There's a few things in this where I just go, I don't know if I believe that. Like, I'm on the opposite page as you. To me, this is the scariest of the, all three. In the line. A day to we Dembella. Great, here we go. No, 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 dang it. Uh... Ah! Uh, get up there, dude. Come on. Come on, you can do it, Barkley. Concentrate. Nice! Oh my god, shoot him in the mouth. Whoa! Nice! Are you okay? Oh no. Oh, Come on, dude. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh no. Please don't bite. I hate it when he bites. No! Oh, nice. Good job, Tyler. Oh my gosh. Don't let that He's kid fall. He's trying to take it, bro. 
There we go. Thank come you. On, come on. Come on. Come you on. Take, take it. Take it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Yes. Wow. He sliced off the ham with that little knife. Ah, he's going to go through the chopper. 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 Oh, choppity chop, chop, Chucky. Lift Tyler. That's a cool shot. You got to lift Tyler. Lift him. Oh. But we know he's not dead. Oh, that was fun. Oh, gross. You know those mofos are going to find his foot and rebuild them. They sure are. Every little, every last drop. He got chuckified for sure. Don't f*** with Chuck or Don't do. Don't do it. That's some Chucky soup down there. I can't believe what's his name died. The sheriff, the lead guy. Sherwood. Are you going to be okay? Don't worry. I've been here before. Yeah, at what point is mom, his mom going to get out of the institution? I was really hoping in this one that we would we would touch base. That's it? That's it? Is this the... Is this the end? That's it? What? That was it? That was an abrupt ending. That was a real... Like, that ending, that kind of throws me for a loop there. That was very abrupt. I did not think that that was going to be the end. Like, what in the nuts? Shout out to Astapro for sponsoring us. So some fun facts about me. I've been seeing an ENT the past couple of months. Got a CT scan done for my allergies, and right now I'm trying to find time to get deviated septum surgery. So like many of you, I am someone who's tried pretty much every nasal spray you can think of because I have difficulty breathing through my nose, which leads to day-to-day -day and sleeping problems on a consistent basis. So before agreeing to this, I wanted to try them out myself because this is a serious thing I deal with. They provided me with free samples. This is my second bottle. This is without a doubt the best nasal spray spray I have ever used. That's not some talking point. That's my very own personal testimony. Genuinely, for me, it's fantastic and lives up to how it's advertised. It's the fastest 24-hour over-the-counter solution available. It gets to work in just 30 minutes while other sprays take hours to kick in. It's also the only one out there that's steroid-free for 24-hour relief. Astapro has seriously changed the game for me, offering full prescription strength relief from nasal congestion, runny nose, and sneezing. The difference this makes is phenomenal. It's kind of insane how this relief through my breathing and nostrils just kicks in and I'm back in action really fast. So if you're like me, battling with nasal allergies and looking for relief, get fast acting nasal allergy or symptom relief with Astapro. Go to astaproallergy.com for a discount so you can Astapro and go. It's faster with Astapro, bro. I saw that commercial. <laughs> Astapro, it's faster, bro. That's A-S-T-E-P-R-O allergy.com. Remember, use as directed for relief of nasal congestion, runny nose, sneezing, and itchy nose due to allergies. Thank you again, Astapro, sincerely. I feel like I couldn't breathe for 90 minutes. <laughs> that was really stressful. Oh. oh. Like, what happens with them? And where, what about his mom? And, like, is anybody ever going to believe him? And what about, and, like, <sighs> the, the, the friend that was kind of, like, wimpy, but then he land, he took the grenade Right. But then, like, they're going to blame, are they going to blame him for the, for barber? the murders? Right. Like, it, the thing is, is like, we didn't, let me turn this down real quick. It was so we loud. Didn't, um, we didn't really like return to that stuff. And I wanted, like, why didn't the kid ever speak up? Why wasn't the kid ever called out? Like, why didn't anybody was, else find out the, that the hair cutter guy was dead? And then they, they could have also gone after that kid, but he must have felt just so alone and being like, they're going to blame me for this murder. And that his he arc went is on that, that he won't stand up for anybody else. And at the end, he makes the ultimate sacrifice. Right. Yeah. But it's, it wasn't, he, we didn't get to see that growth though. Truly. He just, he literally went from like, the, he saw the murder and then he, I, I mean, I did like that that was, I knew like when I saw it, I was like, is this guy going to sacrifice himself? Of course he is. It is a, a, an arc. I just, I would have liked to see a little bit more from the, that kid, the growth of like, and make it feel, yeah. it still hurt. It hurt a lot. I didn't want him to do that. All right. Let's rewind. Yeah. Let's pause and rewind and remix, baby. Uh, if you are an Apple, Spotify, oh, yeah. wherever you are, give us that five stars. Make sure that you leave us a review, a comment. We read everything. If you're watching this on YouTube, thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Share this Make puppy. us some fan heart. Yeah, we love it. We want to watch the next Child's Play. I bet there's a four. If it's not called four, it's 
that we it's, know that there's more Chucky stuff. So yeah, uh, make sure that if you like this, if you share this, if you comment on this, that will help us be able to do the next one. Yeah, baby. Just okay. I know you and I, Tara, we're still processing this. Yes. But as you're processing this, do you feel like you that this movie was bad, good, great? Like, where are you? I'm at. I'm at like good because there's some there. I, I did think that it was very like there are some moments where I was so like, wait, what is actually going to happen? Because if they start killing kids, I'm not I can't be on board. Um, and they did a good job. I mean, if that kid is the actual kid, I I always believe him. I like him a lot. And I liked her a lot. I thought she I liked everyone really in this. There was no, there wasn't any bad actors. And Tyler just like took my heart. I love how well they do with with casting children that are very believable in this movie, which is what gives, which is what I think why this movie has a little bit of my heart in it. Even though I do think there are some plot things like when the guy runs up with the, in the middle of the fight and he's like, is this you who did this? And I'm like, like when they're in the, the gunfight, the red kills Sherwood. Oh, I know. And then the other guy goes like, did you do this? And I'm like, do you not see the doll? with the grenade in his hand yelling that has caused all of this. There's just a few, a few plot holes in there for me that bugged me a little bit, but I still think overall it was good. The, the practical effects always get better. Every time Chucky looks better every time, like so realistic with, with the animatronics in this. And I really, I, I always like, I always like the actors. This was done in 91, which means that I think the last one was 85, right? Let's see. So that's six years. Maybe it's the same kid. He could have been 10 for sure. Um, Wow. Okay. We have some things to look up about this. I kind of feel the exact same way you did about this. Like, I think that this franchise is excellent. I think this was such a different angle on Chucky. It honestly was kind of hard to watch at times because of how invested I was in the kids. And like, you just like know that kids are going to be dying and it's right feels, yeah that's what gets really you tough. out of it, it a little it's intense it's yeah. hard um yeah especially with like our current day world it's just like uh, just hard to watch at times um okay so this uh that was justin whalen who played andy um and previously andy i don't think was played by justin whalen let's see previously andy was played by I think a different actor. Okay. And I will tell you, he was played by Alex Vincent. No, okay, see? Different. Different. Okay. I think that this actor was not as... Um, S- subtle. I thought, no, I, yeah, he was really good too, but not good. as nuanced. Yeah, for sure. I agree. I do agree with that. But he was, he did such a, he looked so much like him. That so it was much. hard to say. Um, okay, the girl Perry Reeves, who you and I both... Definitely knew. Oh, his entourage. She played Mrs. Ari. That was Ari Gold's wife. Oh, my God. I can't believe I didn't get that. Entourage is one of my favorite shows ever. I cannot what believe show? I did not get that. That's, that's Ari Gold's wife and Entourage. I'm, oh, I, I yeah. actually, you don't understand what a diehard Entourage fan I am. What's wrong you with me? You love it? Where? I've seen every episode 50 times. I knew I recognized her for something. What are you trying to look for, babe? Dang it, she's probably, she's got to be in Reacher. I have a feeling. Oh, my God. That, that was might have been Mrs. Totally Ari. Wrong. I'm an idiots <laughs> oh my know. god you guys are screaming at me at home i know you are because <laughs> i love that show um doesn't seem like she's in reacher dang it she oh, is in a million things but i definitely think of her as mrs ari that's crazy that i couldn't pull that dang it that is crazy roxy's losing it i mean she's in 75 episodes on drive like, <laughs> she's she, in all she's, of- she's one of the like yeah, stars leave. of the show that's cr- that's crazy. She was an old school also. I can't believe I didn't pull that. That is wild. I'm wow. so mad at myself. Okay. Speaking of child's play three though, and the two of them, because we kept going off about their ages. So let's see. He was born in 74 and she, she was born. It will tell me when it loads in 70. So oh, she her, was only four years older yeah, than him at that age. It makes kind of a difference, right? Like 16 to 20 is kind of low. Yeah, key a difference. you're right. You're absolutely right. Cause I was like, wow, the, the age difference did look a little, it was sort of like, couldn't you have cast like a little bit younger to make it a little more believable? But I think with her acting skills, I understand why. Cause she's, she's great. 
Um, she's so good. And and he did a very good job too. Different, yeah, but very good great. job. Yeah. We have, uh, as the director, I think I, I noted at the beginning that I thought that it was somebody different. His name is Jack Bender. Uh, he's an executive producer from Lost and Alias. Whoa. And he also did that show from that everybody keeps telling me to watch, but I don't have MGM plus. So your girl is not been watching it. Yeah, but I hear that it's an unbelievable show. Really? It's called, what's it called? From, F-R-O-M. From. from. Oh. Um, but he's the okay. EP of those. In terms of directing things, he's directed a couple of, 23 episodes of Mr. Mercedes, 11 Never episodes of it. From. He did two episodes of Game of Thrones. Game uh, of Thrones! The Last Ship, Under the Dome. He did nine episodes. I loved that show. He did a movie called Rewind. He did 43 episodes of Lost. Um, he did four episodes of Sopranos. He did 11 episodes of Alias. He did one of Joan of Arcadia, such an underrated show. Uh, one of Boomtown, Judging Amy. He did six episodes. Whoa. That's Life. Um, Ally McBeal, Boston Public, Felicity. Okay. So he, this makes he, a he lot is of a TV, TV guy. And yeah. I wonder if he was directing TV before this movie, because there's some Let's shots in this out. that it was way less cinematic, specifically when they're when they're in the fight out and Andy and Tyler walk up to Chucky, sorry, Andy and the girl walk up to Chucky and the kid, it was shot like there was one cool shot from an angle where you just see Chucky's head and his hair. And I was like, oh, that's cool. They didn't play with the lighting as much. Like it didn't seem very cinematic. It, it seemed like there was too much space in the shot when they walked up. I didn't feel as nervous because it was just, it looked like the camera's just here and they walk up to him and they're like, he's holding the grenade. I don't know. There was something with that that I felt that you could have done very something TV-like. more. Very TV-like. Not cinematic at all. And now that I see all of these TV credits, it adds up. Even even the part with the helicopter with the kid kind of hanging down. I was like, I think there's a better way to shoot this to make the helicopter and him hanging down seem more epic. And have the field, the depth of field seem way larger uh, versus the shot they had made it seem a little bit smaller. I didn't mind it too much because we're working within a budget. But there there are some things that now that makes sense, it, there is some TV way, there's a TV way that the camera was placed. He did a lot of TV movies before this, okay. it seems. Okay. Um, I actually really liked the way this was shot. I liked that we had a different director. It gave it a new lens. And I do think that this was a really strong movie. You know, sometimes when something's such a strong movie, you have a hard time watching it. Like, right. Like, it's worked for me. It was poignant. It was powerful. Yeah. I was, it was scarier than the other two, for sure. Like, how I talked about the first one, especially, it was more campy than horror. Yeah. This was not campy as much. No, not as much. Except for once I knew Tyler, that was that was the thing. Once I knew Tyler could take care of himself, I felt that when he, when he got into the Haunted Mansion area. I went like, oh, now I can kind of maybe laugh and have fun because I felt like he was not going to die and be safe from that point on versus before. I just did not want to see that kid ending up dead. And when there's a kid involved, I have a little less like of uh, the campy version, like in number one, which is why this one felt more realistic. Like I couldn't really go there because I was like, I can't be like, woo, kill that person. I'm like, I do not want to even... Like, what's going on here? Yes, yeah, especially like, like the sergeant is a kid and he's an asshole, but you don't want him dead. But you don't want him dead, especially by his other Wait, um, teammates yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We're so off by the years, by the way, because, you know, we th- I thought it was the 80s, but this one apparently, so this says that um, IMDb trivia, under pressure from Universal, screenwriter Don Mancini was asked to begin writing the third film before the second film was even released. Hence, this picture was released only nine months after Child's Play Whoa! 2. And Cheney has called it his least favorite because he felt he was out Rushed. of ideas so soon after the second installment. Hey, I, I so am of course with it's you. a different actor. I'm sure the people at home were like, obviously, it's a different actor. It's one year later. It's one year. See, that's what I thought. I'm like, this, this feels like, okay, that makes sense. I'm glad that the writer was like, hey, man, I, I felt rushed. There's probably a, there are some, some loopholes and some better writing that they they could have done in this. I mean, I think I've mentioned a, a couple more, a couple of options there that I thought, why would they not go, Hey, we can do this a little, a little smarter, but, um, being rushed to, to turn it over without the, even the second one being released, you're just going to go, Hey, we're relying on a doll. 
bloody gore and 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 good actors. That's the one thing that I that not the one thing. That's that's one of the things about this series that I really love about it is that they hire good actors. Because yeah. if this script with the plot holes that I've said or a few of them uh, toppled with bad acting, forget about it. But the way it is now, I I I love the casting. Well, speaking of the cast, this is the only of the movies where Andy was not played by Alex Vincent. Ah, so we get him back. The simple reason for the recasting was, of course, that Andy had to age eight years, whereas Vincent was still only nine years old. Yeah. When this film was made, he does appear twice, though, via photos as young Andy at the beginning and middle of the film. Vincent would later return in the role in Curse of Chucky, 2013, and Cult of Chucky, 2017. <gasps> I can't wait. I want to see him back because I love him as an actor so much. So 2013 is several years later, which is time. interesting. So box office was years. disappointment on this movie. It was made for 20.5 million on uh, only made 20.5 million on a 13 million budget. So that's the reason Yikes. that they waited seven years for Bride of Chucky in 98. Yeah, I'm like, that will teach you a lesson. Don't rush the writer. Make the script good. You know, I, I still did like this movie and the the practical effects and, and things looked cool. And there's, there's, uh, you know, a nice thing to see Andy going to like military school, kind of having a little bit of a love connection. It, it's nice to see another part of his life that we're like, this kid has got, was dealt a bad hand and we got to have a little bit of fun, but there's, there's the other stuff with it that I'm like, yeah, if you'd given the writer some more time, it could have been dope. This is wild random trivia. Do it. Peter Jackson was asked to direct. What? <laughs> yeah. Apparently he turned it down. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, he damn. He might have read the script and been like, there's some holes here. Hmm. There's some holes here, you know? Yeah. It just, there's some of it that just felt like, um... Like the hair cutter guy, right? He was oh, we so need a creepy. weird, we need a weird, weird we need a weird creepy guy. But he was weird uh, and creepy. He that was. actor was weird and creepy. But I was like, wh- how is this furthering our story along? It just gives us like, oh, where else can we put Chucky? Who else can he kill? Right? At, b- versus doing it, I think, a, a little more smartly and in interweaving those those plot lines together. I did like, you know, the, the gun part of, I mean, I hated it, but the fact that Chucky's putting real bullets in there, that gets you kind of your anxiety pumping. Anxiety, you're like, who's going to kill? Waiting. Exactly. Which is like, that was bingo right there. That I was like that. wild. Yeah. That was a really strong moment, but also a really tough one. Mm-hmm. But there was newness to this. Like we got out of the toy factory. It, we weren't with the same, like in the same area going to Kent, I felt like felt fresh and new, Yeah, but it also had like a claustrophobicness to it. Like there's yeah. no way out how he can't just leave. It's military school. Right. Yeah. Like where is he going to escape to? And Ch- Chucky can just find him wherever he goes. What would you want from another Chucky movie? It could be like a location you want or like a kill that you want to see, or do you want the mom back? Like, what are you hoping for? In a Chucky oh, seat. I want to, I want the mom back. Me I too. want her to be out of the psych ward and in it to kill Chucky. Like see see the demise of him, but do it really smartly with a really intelligent plan. Like she's she's been like, I've been locked up in here for 20 years. I know exactly how to kill this guy. Yeah. Um, and then she teams like up. Sketches but, everywhere, like yeah, a beautiful like, mind. Yeah. Exactly. Like, wouldn't that be so fun? And then, of course, she she is a, maybe her son then is like, wait, what's going on, Mama? You lost your mind. Or he's like, yeah, we need to kill him together. I think she would eventually convince Andy to go, We've, we're going to take him out together now. Look at my plan. But I'm a little worried that, like, maybe at the beginning he'd be like, Mom, are you are you okay? I don't I, I don't know what to do. And she'd have to get him She'd have to spend some of the movie getting her son back because she's been in a psych ward so long. But I think he understands like why she was put in there, obviously. What He's- about the girl that he left with last time at the end of the movie? Yeah, we thought we were going to see her again. We really liked her. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And oh, right. Because I thought they were going to start with them leaving. With them leaving together. They were going to stay. They were like a little well, we family. We fasted forward until he was 16. Dang. Maybe Why don't we, we see a picture of maybe, maybe the next we one will. rewind or something. I don't know. <gasps> maybe that would be good. I'd already forgotten about that, you guys. But they do wait seven years for the next one, so maybe they don't rewind because he'll be older. 
Yeah, if he was nine, he'll be what? 16. 16. You look okay. at the direct sequel to this. Oh. It'll be different. That's what they were huh. waiting for, maybe. Huh. I don't know. Yeah, I hope, but I do hope we see the mom again because that's a completely reasonable request. Um, and that, like, some of these other characters start to roll over from franchise to franchise. Also, really curious because we've heard Bride of Chucky, Bride of Chucky, Bride of Chucky. Like, mm-hmm. sup with that? Right. <laughs> Like, is she crazy bitch too, or does he find a wife? Like, who's in her soul? I'm like, does also does that mean that they come out with like a girl Chucky, and then, and instead, it, or the bride of Chucky is the doll, and then it takes like, how does he bring? I don't know. I don't know. I'd be super curious about that. So we do want to keep watching these for sure. This yeah. movie was good. It was good, but yeah. I also kind of wish not great. I love yeah. the I love the first and the second one better than this Me too. one. Me too. Um, there was just, you know, some, some holes, some pacing in there that I, I, the nervousness was on point. The anxiety with, with stuff in here was on point, but I, I didn't feel as like on the, there were certain times, but not as much on the edge of my seat, kind of like fun lovingness as I did in the first and the second. And that's probably because we were dealing with like, I thought kids were going to get shot and I don't like that. That's like, ah, that makes it less fun for me. Yes, yes. Uh, Yeah. This kind of sounds like the opposite of what you're saying, but I I agree with everything you're saying. Um, And I almost never say this about a movie, but I kind of wish it was 10 minutes longer. Oh my God. Yeah, the ending, Roxy. We have to talk about the ending, the abrupt ending. What was that? I mean, that was like, like it did wrap it up. It I, really did. It but wrapped it up. It but did. I needed a little bit uh, more. more. Like, what happens when you get back to school? Like, are you like the hero? Are they questioning you? Like, lead us into the next thing. What happens with Tyler? Like, there's a lot of dead bodies, and we're just not dealing with the ramifications. And I want to see the consequences to not your actions, and then what happens. And are people starting finally starting to believe you? Because I understand from the first one to the second one, I understand how they could think th- this doll was not talking to him, was and that he was crazy. Right. From but the now second one to witnesses. the third one, it was kind of less believable. But okay, but now multiple people who are alive have seen this doll talk. Yes, I mean, exactly. Dozens. So like, I, I'm sure we'll deal with that in the next one, but we're, I, I kind of wish that we ended with a little bit about that. Yeah, like maybe them saying like, yeah, I definitely saw the doll talk or maybe they're they're all tied up by the sergeant and they're like, that you're going to forget about this doll. You never heard it talk. You heard me. I don't know. Or you, right, you at least something. seem... Anything to give us a little bit more juice about like what there's there's a lot of things that happened here that we did not address. We didn't address. And like like say that like, you know, the world isn't ready to handle that. This has to be our secret. Like take this to the grave. Sure. Fellas, whatever. Like whatever. Anything. Or it gets in the newspaper. We see it printed like but just we we set up so many juicy things and then we didn't deal with them we didn't deal with the barber being dead right we didn't deal with that kid who act, the bullet sure actually would. being in the thing and that kid sure would end up died dead. um we didn't deal with her getting shot in the leg we didn't deal with mm. dozens of people seeing chucky was alive it, like we didn't deal with tyler's um parent dad being out of town and like him calling and being like what are you doing with my kid you know like we didn't deal right. with a lot of these things we, we set really- these things up but we didn't deal with them right and like what was the what was the point kind of in the beginning with the old man going like, we're here for money. Like we get that, but, and then oh, putting, point. putting Chucky in there in his room. And then he kills that guy who is really on Chucky's side. I feel like right? they think that they had to do that because they were trying to justify to us why they started like printing Chucky again, but we yeah. didn't need them to because we already know you guys don't believe that Chucky was alive. Right. Like we just could have just seen that the dolls are just kept being made. Duh. Like they clean it up and then they're like, we didn't, we didn't really need the exposition of like this doll, this kid is claiming this doll was alive and that the, the disaster mm. that happened in the factory would have just been like, clean it up quietly and let's move on. Although that was a cool scene I at did the like, beginning with the toys agreed. and all the stuff. That was cool to watch. I love that. Like as a short, that was cool. I agree. I think that maybe they could have, they could have done it a little bit quicker and maybe not it made it seem so epic because we never went back. Right. We or, just never or go back. 
or go back because I would like I would have loved to live there a little bit. Maybe live with why? Why are we seeing this old guy, this VIP who's after money? And what do people think he, happened there? Right, he ended like up dead. That's what I want to know. What do the people think about the people who died in this movie? We have no idea. Other Not than even the kid. Guy. Heart attack makes sense. You think he had a heart, heart attack. attack? Makes sense. But everybody else. But even the kid who saw who saw the barber die, and then he's silent the rest of the time, and we see his self sacrifice look we still didn't get any real justification or thoughts from him at all about how he's processing it what yeah, because he a thought. minute earlier he was not willing to stand up for andy when andy's like right right but then next minute he's willing to jump on a grenade yeah and it's like i wish that i understand that the barber was putting really bad thoughts in his head that that's the that's the only tie that I assume the writer is trying to make. The barber is telling you you're a worthless human being. Right. Now this kid feels worthless. He sees that guy die. He goes and he's like, I'm a worthless human being. I'm going to now sacrifice myself. But I didn't feel that. I knew when you obviously this shot was set up, you know, the kid is going to go. He's looking at the grenade. We're setting it up. He's going to go do that. But I didn't feel the true like emotion there of how how damaged he felt from that barber. That's what I assumed the tie was supposed to be that the barber. Well, everybody, because he was so bullied. It's kind of like what bullying does to you. And it makes you want to kill yourself when it yeah. gets so when it gets there. Yeah. But it wasn't. But it we didn't wasn't, see that. We didn't yeah. see it. Props to this I movie, needed though, that. I think you're so right. But props to this movie for still being in uh, like us still feeling like it was a good movie yeah. despite all these holes. Because Agreed. that's crazy. Agreed. Like any other movie that I can point all this stuff out about, I'd be like, that was a miserable watch. But genuinely the entire time we were watching this, I engaged. was enthralled and engaged. Yeah. Right. So like, I think that's a testament actually to the fact that ch like Chucky and Andy, Chucky and Andy are yep. our through Agreed. line. And we love those characters that have been created. Yep. Um, and so that's pretty cool that even with all of this, I could enjoy it. But at the same time, um, I also think this is one of those movies where the more you talk about it, the worse it gets. Like, I, yeah. right after, I'm like, yeah, that was good. And now we're talking about it. I'm like, that made no sense. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, there's just some stuff like when he's, when they're like, hey, come take a look at this. And all he has to do is look at an empty <laughs> body bag. And I'm like, oh, you're in the military. You're going to say body he was sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. <laughs> It's an empty body bag, bro. <laughs> Sleeping bag and just say, he went MIA, let's move, right? Yeah. We, we, we need to move. Also, when he was when he was in the room going like, did you take the doll? And then all of a sudden, eight guys walk in or like, what's going on? And I'm like, wouldn't you have heard him rustling around with Chucky? It, it just, it's just, it's, it's sort of like, oh, what a coincidence. Now all of these eight guys were just in the hallway and heard him like screaming and all decided to get up. I found that a little unrealistic, but that's okay. These are just like small things I'm pointing out that led me out of it that I just went, that's a weird choice for someone to sit there and go, why don't we just have maybe one guy come in and yeah. sit here instead of there's like, there was like seven in the background. There, there was just some weird moves in here, but again, it was written so quickly and, and yeah, I, yeah. I mean, and they probably went from like, we just wrapped and now it's like, we got to shoot again. And conceptually, if you have no time him being like, okay, let's send him off to military school. And deal yeah. with it, I, that's cool. The yeah. general concept. Agreed. He just needed to flush things out more and he, and he wasn't given the time. He wasn't, I don't blame the writer. No, I, I, I love that he came no, you blame forward. Universal Cause they, exactly. it was, that was too quick of a turnaround and he needed time. Yeah. And I like that the writer was like, I hate, I hate this one. Listen, I, it was it was rushed. It's my worst. It's like when you do a vomit draft and you're just yeah. like, okay, there's a, there's something here, which there is something here. Absolutely. But you didn't have time to really nail it. To really nail it, which I feel I feel bad for you because I think you obviously could have. He knows th that it's not great. So we know that he could have done better. Right. Um. So I appreciate him saying that. And um. Yeah, still, still love this franchise. It's still yes. super fun to watch. And I love that they s still have inventive kills. Like the guy in the garbage truck, no thanks. That was where I was like, oh God, he's going to get the roller thing and then the compaction. Blah, I don't blah, want blah, it. Blah, I do blah. not want it. Okay. Blah. They get inventive. Blah. 
Yeah, I know it's bad. Yeah, All right, they well, get new kills. Here's what I'll tell you guys. Speaking of this franchise, the Chucky franchise, we are watching this, but we're also watching Nightmare on Elm Street as yeah, a franchise baby. right now. We want to do uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, we are now the Scream Queens. We're the horror whores. Yeah, we love watching these things together. So if you love us watching this, leave a recommendation in the comments. Also, if you want us to do the next Chucky and get through the whole series, then let us know. Hopefully, if you like, if you comment, if you subscribe, you got share, 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 if, baby. If you share, 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 <laughs> you believe in love after love after love after love. That was the share echo. echo. You see how good like, that was? Share with C H instead of S H. Yeah, I mean, because you said to share. Yeah. You know what I did? I did. I totally. Um, let's be honest. I missed it. But now you got it. I did, and it was ten minutes later, and you you guys are here to view that, and that's just that's just where I'm at. I could tell normally. you jumped in because you were time. a ride or die, but yeah. you didn't know why. No, I didn't know why. But you jumped in anyway, and yeah. That's what makes a homie. Let's go, yep. Tara. Okay. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Later, Rejects. Bye.